the storm is about to hit. I'm not sure whether it's a cyclone or a hurricane, but a very strong wind is about to hit us from that direction there. Here's your house. Well, it's actually a shoebox, as you can see, with a pen attached this end and that end, and a cardboard roof held in place with a couple of drawing pins or thumbtacks. Now, you can see that you haven't quite finished making your house. Although it's firmly attached, the roof is firmly attached in the centre, the sides are not nailed down. Here's my question for you. When the strong wind hits from this side, which side of the roof is most vulnerable to damage? The wind side or the side away from the wind? Make up your mind. When you've made up your mind, we'll find out whether you're correct. You've made up your mind? OK, here comes the wind. I'll switch on the electric fan and watch carefully. Now, this side is starting to move, but the wind is actually holding it securely in place. But the side away from the wind is starting to lift up in the air and flap in the breeze. Why is that? Well, I'm glad you asked. What's happening is the wind is whipping over the top of the roof, traveling very rapidly on this side, creating a low pressure region. So that lifts the whole roof. In fact, in a real storm, you're more likely to lose sheets of roofing iron or tiles from the side away from the wind. So why don't you get a shoebox, cardboard, pins and pens, and try it on your friends. Thank you.